shark in the tank. A brand new shark. The self-proclaimed brand messiah, Rohan Oza, is responsible for the success of several healthy products that have become household names. You know them all. And now on Shark Tank, he's on the hunt for the next big health brand. Today, Rohan is here giving you the first look at the newest health food trends so you know which ones are worth your money. My passion is building brands in a disruptive way. Graduate from Michigan, and the first company I want to work for is Coca-Cola. I got to work at Sprite and Powerade, where I learned lifestyle marketing. I became a serial investor entrepreneur. Pop chips, Vita Coco, Chef's Cut, Sir Kensington Ketchup. Buy, buy was all for a billion seven. People who want to make a difference are always going to have pushback. You have to have the inner confidence to push through, because if you don't break through that wall, you'll get stuck behind it. I've never had an original product idea, but what I have an ability to do is very early find amazing products created by amazing people. And I help take those brands to the promised land. When I look out of the city and think back to the small town that I grew up in and where I am today, it's crazy. I'm both humbled and proud of what I've done to get here. Rohan Oza, come on out. Picking the sharks out. How are you? Pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for having being me. here. Thanks for having so I gotta say something. So Oz, O Z. It's very close. Oza, so it's like Oz with a little something extra. Right. Just a little um, like the evolution. <laughs> the evolution of Oz. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. I love it. You're you're from South Africa originally. Yes, yeah, I grew up in Zambia and right by the Victoria Falls, small town called Livingston. Go visit if you want to go on safari. That's right. right. Yeah. So products. Let's talk about your expertise area. Ed. Sure. It is remarkable how in, in tune you've been with America and where our nation's taste buds are heading. I see these days lots of people pitching concepts like this. They don't always work, but they're out there. You've got to make a difficult decision of who to invest in. So how do you pick which of the pitches you're getting at, you know, sitting in those Shark Tank chairs uh, and which ones you're going to just discard? Well, it's, you've got to go with two things. I, like, I look at the founder and then I look at the idea. Because if it's a founder with a bad idea, it's out. Yeah. But if it's a great idea and someone is, uh, is looking like you just don't want to work with them, it's, you know, it's just, juice is not worth the squeeze, you're out as well. Juice is not worth the squeeze. All right, we're going to look at one of your first investments on Shark Tank. Listen to this. Hi, I'm Megan Reamer. And I'm her husband, Scott. We're here from Crested Butte, Colorado. We're asking for $1.25 million for 5% of our business, Jackson's yes, Honest. We are on a mission to fundamentally disrupt the $20 billion snack food industry. We make the most delicious potato and tortilla chips cooked in 100% organic coconut oil. We learned a lot about the benefits of coconut oil when caring for our son, Jackson. Jackson became very sick with a rare disease, and over many years of trial and error, we realized that a low-carb, high-fat diet really helped his condition. And we'd give these chips to our friends and family, and they all insisted that they were the best they'd ever had, and for years, encouraged us to sell them. Let me start by commending you on a product that is absolutely disrupting the food and beverage space. Everything out there is high sugar, high fat, not the good stuff that you need. You're bringing the good fats in. I'd like to give you an offer. All right, uh, my final offer is 15%. Is Rohan, we'd love to take your offer. Outstanding. Thanks, Dad. Congratulations, Ship Rohan. of a day. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank awesome. You. Wow. Let's go do this. Thank you. I love your product. It's terrific. Thanks so much. All right, so, so Rohan, I saw you salivating on these chips. Well, what is it about these things you like so much? I noticed the interesting colors they have, blue. And so look, I told you two things. First, start with the founders. Incredible people with an incredible story. Secondly, <clears throat> everyone wants to have chips. Chips don't want to go away, they're a great snack. The problem is what people fry them in is horrible. Yeah. Megan and Scott figured out a way to fry chips in coconut oil, which is a good fat. You've had people on here, Mark Hyman's, a, my doctor's yeah. a friend of yours, espouses the whole benefits of good fats. Fried in coconut oil, so the fat part is good, mm -hmm. and then I don't feel so bad about eating the chip. Secondly, everyone says, eat the rainbow. Right. So we have purple chips, red chips, sweet potato that you're trying, so it's better for you chips. Now, I'm not gonna opine on the taste of these because I have real critics here. You think you guys are tough. I've got the bite club. Uh -oh. And the bite club, you know, they're ruthless. They're at our focus group table right now. They're gonna weigh in on whether or not they would spend or end this health trend. See, this is, this is Oz's, have to rhyme. Oz's have to rhyme. All right, so guys. Spend or end this health trend? Thoughts? 
Oh, and four for four. Yeah. Wow. I love it. Describe the taste to me a little bit. What do you like the most about it? A little bit it's sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely sweet. These chips are so flavorful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's packed. I can't believe I'm eating a, a chip. The blue <laughs> chips are fantastic. They taste just like regular potato chips. You know, you know what? I want all of you in the audience to try some. So guys, come on out. I got my team. Did they have enough? You think they have enough of these things? Let's pass it over here. Who wants some? Who wants the chip? But you gotta do it the right way, Rohan. You have a chip, and you oh, get a chip. My God. And you get a chip. Can I get one more? And there. And you get a chip. There we are. <laughs> All right. Up next, Rohan's weighing in on the new health food trend taking over social media. It is called Paw Paw Fruit. I'm not getting you Paw Paw Fruit. So you do see if he thinks that it's worth your money because this guy can spot a winner. <laughs> it's good. Nice job.